How's it going, everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the different pieces that make up an expression. So first of all, what are those different pieces? We've got the expression name, the parameters, the return type, and the return value. These are the basic four things that you will need in any expression, to need to know for any expression. So first, let's start with the expression name. This one is pretty simple and straightforward. It's the name of the expression. It's what comes before the open parentheses. Um, and it's generally what you see right here. Next are the parameters. Now the parameters are anything that go inside your parentheses. You'll notice that some expressions like unique ID don't have any parameters. They don't need you to pass anything in because they're not using that data in any way. And other expressions like the select statement, the select expression, excuse me, have a lot of parameters. Now each comma represents another parameter. So select has a parameter for a list, parameter for um, a, excuse me, parameter for a condition, true, false, and then an optional parameter for omit duplicate results. Now you'll know an option is param, excuse me, a parameter is optional if in the expression, um, right here, you see it's in square brackets. If it's in square brackets, that means it's an optional parameter. You can include it if you want, but you don't have to. So what that means, if I took out this and this final comma, we would see that it still returns that this expression is valid because I don't need that third parameter. Uh, so another word for parameter is just values that you pass in to the expression. Now the last two aren't well represented up here. They're the return type and the return value. The return type can be seen down here in the result. So we know that the select uh, expression returns a list. When we go to other and we look at unique ID, which is up here. Nope, sorry, it's, it's farther down. Unique ID. Unique ID returns a text value. So that's going to be important when you're putting it into a data column because it needs to match the data type of your column. The return value needs to match that value. Excuse me, that type. The value is what is actually returned. So unique ID returns a random series of numbers and letters that is always going to be unique. It's the thing that you see in your Google Sheet in your SQL database, whatever you're hosting your data on, uh, the actual value that you see. The select returns a list. So for instance, this one doesn't make a lot of sense, uh, but returns each value in this list where the column video equals app, um, equals this link here. More likely you'll do something like select this all, um, select the column in this table where this matching column equals this value. For instance, you run and return all of a particular user's inputs. You say return input where um, user equals current user's email something along those lines. So that is what makes up every expression. If you have any com uh, comments or questions, please post them in the comments below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.